Hi, this is John Rule with RCS Programming, and I'm going to show you how to upload your projects that you created in the runtime editor, included with the Exis control system, into your iPod or your iPhone. And this is a first generation 8 gigabyte iPod, and there's nothing special about it. In fact, it's probably the, the low end very low powered and if it works on this it should work on anything in fact I expect that the uh, the behavior will be much improved and what I have here is I already have a an installed application so what I'll do is I'll just go to that as you can see I had an icon and a startup screen and it goes right into uh, full screen mode for your application for control and this uh, this application actually has pop-ups uh, and the logic that controls the pop-ups, which is which is already programmed in your in your runtime editor user interface, so it's converted and uploaded for you. And what you can see on this is that uh, we have in the upper left corner is we have the, the the bars that indicate wireless connect connectivity. And when you press a button, you can also see the indicator for communication to the Exus controller. I am I am actually connected to an Exus controller. And this is communicating through HTTP. So you will see that communication if you are actually connected to uh, to a valid network connection. Uh, but what you do not see, and this this may be different on your device, is that there is no uh, highlighting. So I don't know if you can see that. When you press a button, there may be activity, and there are highlighted icons. So when you press that button, there should be a highlighted icon, but there is no highlighting. So I don't know if that's a, if that's a failing of this device. It doesn't necessarily affect me, and it doesn't, it doesn't affect the control. You press a button, and it sends the command. So it does do that, but it, it may behave differently on your device. And what I'm going to show you now is how to uninstall this and start over because you may have to do this a few times. You may have to uh, clear your cache to reload the project or to update a project. This is what you'll have to do. So to uninstall, you hold your application icon down and an X will appear in the upper left corner. You press that X and you delete your icon. Exit out of that. Now you'll have to go to your Safari browser and you need to clear everything out of there. You need to clear your history and you need to clear the pages so that there is nothing. And you will have to go to your settings, go to the Safari settings, down at the bottom you'll have to clear your history, clear the cookies. Uh, you may not have to clear the cookies uh, if you do that on, on a customer's iPod or iPhone, yeah, you should try it without doing that first. Let's put it that way. But clearing the cache will clear, the history in the ca cache will clear the browser. The cookies is just uh, something that I do just to make sure that everything's cleared. You may not have to do that is what I'm saying. So try it first without clearing the cookies. You just need to make sure that nothing is in there. That's all. So now I have running on a computer, I have a project and the RTE server serving the pages. So now all I have to do is go to the my web page or my server, the computer serving the pages. And right now it's downloading, as you can see, this, the status takes a little while because it's actually pulling in all of the graphics and the pages and storing it in the cache. But already you can see the page is loaded and once that's done, we are actually done uh, loading our HTML5 application, our web application. And Apple is nice enough to provide a method for us to store that. Uh, we have a button called Add to Home Screen. It does everything for us. And what you saw there is you saw a default application icon. But in the logic, I've provided a path through uh, on the RCS server. Uh, a path to the uh, RCS icon. You can change that in your code. So we are communicating with the internet. It did, the logic is working because it did pull in the icon and 
the name of our application is iPod Control. We're just going to leave that default, and we just simply add that to our application desktop. And it does everything for you. So now we can go ahead and, uh, and test this. There's our uh, splash screen. There's also a link to that in the code. And there's our web application all loaded for us. Now what we can do is we can just go ahead and start pressing buttons to see if we are communicating. But we should also make sure that uh, the server is turned off on the computer that just served these pages. And just to make sure, we should delete. Let's go ahead and delete everything out of this cache. So there's nothing there. Let's clear our history. But do not go to the settings and clear that history because that cache is now maintaining the cache for the loaded web application. That will clear that out. So leave that alone this time. And now if I turn this, turn this off, turn it back on, I am disconnected from the, uh, the RTE server that was serving the web pages. And now when I press this, we still we get our splash screen and we also get our application and we get our pop-up so that means our logic is intact and when I press a button we do have communication and that is our stored web application using the uh, the access control system and the runtime editor